Jonathan Pye, Regent Street, Central London. Oh, I'm knackered, Tim. I'm so tired. It's the news. It's a young man's game. I just want the news to stop. I want it to stop. When will the news just stop? It just keeps coming. Do you remember when the news was normal and, and manageable? Do, well, I don't know, like this time last year, it's too much is happening. Any other time, the government being found guilty of electoral fraud, it would be like, you know, but hardly an eyelid is battered because, hey, the US just accused us of spying on them. No wonder Theresa May fucking loves Trump. Th this week, the NHS admitted that it doesn't have enough money to function. Simple as that. The NHS is about to take its final breath, but hey, Trump just tweeted something demented. Let's all look over there. There's some really dark shit happening in this country right now, but don't worry about that. Let's all laugh at Trump while he treats Angela Merkel like she's a mass murdering dictator. Wrong German, Donald. That was the other fella, you fucking child. And then, out of everything that's happening, comes the news that really floors us all. The news being the return of George fucking Gideon Oliver Knob Jockey Osborne, AKA George Osborne MP, AKA that smug entitled privileged useless twat, AKA the new editor of the London Evening Standard. No experience whatsoever of running a newspaper, but you know, come on, how hard can it be? It's not like brain surgery or, I don't know, running the world's fifth largest economy or anything, because for, for those things, you'd really have to know what you were doing, wouldn't you? I mean, this guy tried to solve the global financial crash by taxing pasties. Why proportionately tax the wealthy when you can simply add eight pence to the price of a chicken and mushroom slice? That along with crushing the benefit system, problem solved. What a fucking dick. He's got a fucking history degree for fuck's sake. He knows nothing about economics and he knows nothing about journalism which tells you everything you need to know about the country we now live in. What sort of example is this setting to our children? Forget having expertise, experience, qualifications, talent. That would be like living in a meritocracy, heaven forbid. No, all you need to succeed, kids, is go to the right school, have the right contacts, and, and of course have access to your family's enormous tax-free offshore funds. Simple rules for a successful career, kids. What about giving the job to someone who deserves it? Like, I don't know, like a fucking journalist. Someone who is qualified to be there. What, what's next? Jeremy Hunt running The Morning Star. Amber Rudd editing smash hits. What? Nicola, Nicola Sturgeon running the, the Independent. That's very good, Tim. I think they should rename it The Evening Substandard. The, the Evening Below Par. Yeah, the, the evening couldn't give a fuck, I'm a posh, rich little fuck shit, and I'm only taking the job to piss off the PM and further my own nefarious ambitions. West End final. Th this undermine, uh, undermines journalism and politics in one move. Who in their right mind would think this is an appropriate job for an MP? Tony Blair. Tony fucking Blair. The turd that won't flush. I, I think the news has stopped, you know. I, I think it's stopped already. The news stops when politicians like George Osborne start running fucking newspapers. The news stops when presidents get to decide what's news and what's fake. I think the news probably stopped some time ago, which means I don't even know what I do, Tim. I don't know what this job is anymore. All I know is I, I need a fucking holiday. Yeah. I'm here in London's Regent Street, and today we're taking a look... Will it be some loony left guardian munching Corbyn fest? No! Not all of it. <laughs> it's what you paid your money for, isn't it? <laughs>